Well, happy holidays, guys. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. That means eggnog time, right? Well, there's a lot of different recipes out there for eggnog, and there's a lot of different ways to make it. Of course, you can just go to the store, get one of these quarts of it already made up. Pfft. That's no good. Come on, I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch. Now, a couple of things before we get started. You're going to say, well, raw eggs, man, I'm going to get sick. Now, in the United States, all eggs that are sold through the grocery stores are required to be pasteurized. So you're 99% safe on that. Hell, you're not even that safe going out in your car. The other thing is, when we get, we're going to separate the eggs, the yolk from the white. It's really important that you don't get any of the yolk in the whites or they're not going to whip up properly. Get a little bit of white in the yolk, that's not going to matter. But anyway, let me show you what we're going to need and how we put this together. Alright, so here's what we're going to need. Now I'm using four cups of whole milk. Then I'm going to use a can of sweetened condensed milk. Now you could substitute this for uh, maybe heavy whipping cream. Four eggs, a half a cup of sugar, and we're going to use about a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now I don't have fresh nutmeg to grind so we're just going to use this which is fine. And then you can add whatever you would like to it. We're going to use brandy you could use whiskey, uh, I don't know about scotch, but uh, bourbon, rum, I happen to have brandy on hand. Now, as I mentioned, we don't want to get any of the egg yolk and the egg whites, so I'm going to take a clean stainless steel bowl, don't use a plastic bowl because that's going to have some oils in it. You, you can't have any oil in your egg whites, you're just not going to whip up. And then our egg yolks. So let's separate the eggs. Oh, got this mixed up here guys, going to put my whites in here. Now another thing you could do, and I see some people do that, um, they separate the um, white, or they separate each egg individually in a cup and then put the whites together. That way, should you get a little bit of yolk in there, you're not contaminating the whole thing. And I'm not yolking you about this. Yeah, that was supposed to be funny. There we go. Oh. Our next step is going to be to whisk a little bit of sugar into our egg yolks. Maybe about a third of that half a cup. Now on our milk, we want to heat that very slowly. We want to get it up to about 170 degrees, and I use a food thermometer for that rather than just testing it. That, and what that does is that's going to help thicken this. Of course, our condensed milk is also going to help thicken this. So we add our condensed milk, going to add our nutmeg, and then we're going to whisk this together. And once this starts to heat, we want to keep whisking. And the idea is, is that when this gets close to 170 degrees, 
the egg yolks will start to coagulate and thicken this. Of course, we don't want them to just coagulate in one big chunk because we're not looking for scrambled eggs here. And just whisk that in a little bit at a time. And this is where you have to stay right with this. This is not one of those where you can just walk away. All right, we've, I had, I've had this on now for about um, four minutes. I'm up to 100 degrees and I'm just stirring it occasionally now, letting it start to thicken. Once this gets to about 140, it's going to go to the 170 pretty quick. So we had, need to keep a close eye on this. And the thing about moving this up slow, if we do it too fast, all you're going to do is get clumps of egg yolk. That's not what we want. All right, now we hit the 170 mark. See, it's not super thick, but we're going to, I'll show you how we're going to do that. But it is nice and creamy. What we're going to do with this next is I'm going to put it out in the refrigerator and this has got to cool down uh, before we fold in our egg whites and add our liquor. But now while we're waiting for that to cool, let's go ahead and start whisking our egg whites. We're going to add a little bit of sugar at a time. All right, well guys, my arm's getting a little tired here. But you see we're getting little peaks, and that's about where we, we need it. So now we're going to refrigerate this, wait um, about an hour and a half, two hours for our other mixture to cool, and then we're going to fold this in, and then we're going to add our brandy. Now, if you happen to have an electric mixer, you could use that, but I'm trying to do this like we're on the boat. I don't carry a hand electric mixer on the boat. We'll see you back in a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. The um, mixture here is to um, refrigerator temperature. So now I'm going to add our brandy. We're going to use about a quarter cup for this. Of course, you could add a little more, a little less. There we are. Now my lovely assistant, Cheryl Ann, wanted rum, but I don't have rum, so this is what we're using. Then we're going to take our egg whites and fold them in. Now, you know, we're not making a souffle, so you don't need to be all that careful with folding those in. I mean, we still want it to be kind of thick here. Oh yeah, it's starting to come around good. Actually, I think I'm going to need a wire whip to make that work right. Let's try this. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice and frothy and creamy. Oh yeah, that works much better. Look at that. Now I have a, I don't have a glass pitcher, but over Chris and Bess, look at that pretty pitcher I have. I'm going to pour our mix into there, and Cheryl Ann, come on honey, you have to help me sample this. All right, so here's my lovely tasting assistant. All right, here we go, honey. Ooh, look how frothy. Oh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm, what do you think? Good. Good. It's better than you can buy in the store, isn't it? It is. It yeah. It's good. All right, guys. Well, happy and safe boating to you, 
your family and friends.